Perhaps the most unsettling detail about the mass shooting at NAS Pensacola is the fact that Mohammed Al Shamrani was supposed to be on base. Florida Congressman Matt Gates is among a growing number of voices supporting a review of programs to train foreign nationals on American soil. In addition to a review, he'd like to go a step further. I believe that review needs to include a pause so that we're able to ascertain what record keeping, what monitoring and what screening and vetting occur when people are approved at our defense attaché's office in Riyadh and end up in the United States for training. It's not clear how or why a training class turned into what's believed to be a terror strike. There was no target selection here. This wasn't someone looking for a specific person. Uh, that is the type of political violence that is the definition of terrorism. Florida Senator Rick Scott, also a Navy veteran, supports a review issuing a statement that read in part, there is no reason we should be providing state-of-the-art military training to people who wish us harm. Speaking to USA Today, a member of the Center for Strategic and International Studies said the people selected for training in America are the best of the best vetted by the U.S. and their own governments. Outside NAS Pensacola, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.